So we got Duraladon, we've got Gudra, we've got all the dragons, Flygon, Torkoal, uh, Gigalith, and Sandaconda. Um, right, what is this team doing? What are we going to do? Uh, okay. It's weird, they got no Trick Room, but they got like lots of heavy Trick Room Pokemon. Um, I feel like Urshifu will be good, especially for that Duraladon. Um, hmm. Kiss is going to be like decent uh, if the dragons come out. Um, you know, like Kiss Urshifu kind of cover most things. Um, I think we could probably. Could we get away with? Nah, I don't really feel like Magnazone's a great pick here. Um, Amoongus is good for sure. He's got a special old Amoongus today. And. Um, should we got Cinderace as well. Why not? Uh, the only other thing I think maybe would be Incineroar, but I think we'll go Cinderace. So, um, is that Water Urshifu? It is Water Urshifu. It is. So, we went for the Water one tonight, not the Dark one. Um, and Fall, not bad, friend. Got a long weekend uh, as I got annual leave today and tomorrow. Nice. That is awesome to hear, man. So, I hope you're enjoying it and uh, taking advantage of the time to rest up and relax. What is that Flygon doing? I know, what is that Flygon doing? Flygon gets some pretty interesting text this this format though, so... Um, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, we can just go... Well... I'm not really... I mean, Surgeon strikes straight into the Sandaconda, right? We'll probably activate Spit Up. Uh -huh. And then, do we just max and just nuke the Flygon? I feel like I'm pulling the trigger a little bit too quick here, but at the same time, I don't know what Flygon's really going to be doing. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this. As always, my brain will need a little bit of time to warm itself up. As we get into the evening, things will get better. Things might start off good. We've been starting off well recently, so it might continue on that trend. Um, but yeah. Flygon's cool. I really do like Flygon. Um, just always feels like it gets like a little bit like dumped on. Okay, here we go. Are we going to get the Sandaconda? Because no Max is coming out from anything. I think we're going to get it, aren't we? There's one crit. <laughs> All the crits. Can we just top the crits off with our Togekiss? Well, Sandaconda didn't do a whole lot there. Uh, are we even faster? No, no, no. We've got the rock slide coming out. I wish we were weakness policy still. I feel like this one's going to be a little bit of a quick one. Um, yeah, Flygon did nothing. So, there we go. Is it sashed, though? Is it sashed? It is sashed. It is sashed. There we go. Cameron, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well, dude. Thanks for hopping in tonight. Uh, well, I went from 1800 to 1600 on Shodan today with Follow Me Less Togekiss. <laughs> Not my best set. No, no. I've I've done it. I've I like I play the weakness policy toga kiss. My weakness policy toga kiss. I was playing without follow me, and then I changed back to have follow me because it's just so valuable. Okay, Duraludon coming out. The problem is we're locked into surgeon strikes, and Duraludon is going to max, isn't it? Um. I mean, we'll just get rid of the Flygon. Um, we could Airstream. Although, let's just Starfall because Duraludon, unless it's got... Okay, we're going to see the... Is it going to be Torkoal? No, Gudra. Gudra. Okay. <clears throat> we need to make sure that we're um, taking care of kiss here really because all these dragons and Will's Togekiss the berry with nasty plot nice that is nice that's yeah I like that nasty plot kiss dangerous I mean, this is nuts because it still does so much. Like to a Gudra as well. It's like Surgeon Strike is so bust. It's 
steel spike. Yep. Oh, we just take it, just take it. We're gonna have to readjust in a minute. Um, because I need to keep Urshifu around to deal with this. Um, unless we get a crit here, and then this makes things way, 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 way easier. Yeah. Don't think it's a crit. No. Um. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Can we get a free switch into Cinderace? I think like it's not even. I mean, we could bring in Amoongus, but it's not really going to do too much. And if Cinderace goes down, then that's super fine. We'll just max guard. We might have been better like earlier on going for an airstream just so we had the jump on um, Duraludon uh, because this turn then we can just nuke it and get rid of it so we don't even have an issue. But I think things are a little bit more difficult for a sludge wave coming out. Oof. Okay. Dingadonk, how you doing, mate? I hope you're well. Thanks for opening and enjoying the stream tonight. Hope you've had a good day. Yeah, we're going to lose Cinderace. Okay, well, this is still fine. Wow, we don't. Cinderace. You jump. Hanging on. Um, yeah, I think it's still all right, though, because high jump kick will get the Duraludon. Um, and if it protects, we lose Cinderace, but we get Urshifu back in. Um, and a Dazzle will pick up the Gudra. Or at least it should do. Magnus on, less Magnus on. I know, right? Yeah, there's the Max God. Like I say, this this is fine. I don't know if we actually get the Gudra, to be honest. Like, it probably survives. Oh, and it actually has feeds us. Okay. Yeah, so we don't get it. Still gonna be fine. Still gonna be fine. Still gonna be fine. Unless it's Sap Sipper. And then things get really awkward very quickly. Hmm. The overconfident man. Uh, okay. Well, that is a fat. That is a fast Gudra as well. That may be scarfed Gudra. It's just going to sludge wave, that's the thing. Um, it's going to be Sap Zipper, isn't it? It has to be Sap Zipper. Uh, we could sludge bomb it. I think probably better off sludge bombing. Just get some chip onto it. Because I don't think a sludge wave will take down Urshifu. can't be Scarf Gudra though. It can't be. It's gone after the Duraludon. I just don't understand the speed tiering because my Togekiss is like near max speed. Let's just help Urshifu survives this attack because if it goes down we're done and we're done. <laughs> Oh, we actually survive it. <laughs> That's how weak Gudra is. I'm like, okay. Well. Yeah, now close combat will get the Gudra. And then uh, Giga Dream will get the Flygon. This is way closer than what I wanted it to be. Yogri, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Do you think Anger Point teams are too gimmicky? So Dink a Donk. Mm. No, not necessarily. Like, um, they're always good, like, to have a mod, for sure. Um, but not too gimmicky. Like, they're so threatening. Like, you can't ignore it in Team Preview. I think that's, like, the the, the, the powerful thing about them. Um, they're definitely, like, a gimmick in the sense of if you've got, like, a 100% a, like way to shut it down. But then that plays to your advantage if you're playing it because you know your opponent has to lead a certain way. Otherwise, the anger point strategy just kind of runs through them. So you can use it to your advantage. I don't. I wouldn't say it's really a gimmick. A gimmick. This is way closer than what I thought it was going to be. Like I'm going to lock into. I should flamethrower among us or something. 
Rake and swipe. Okay, that's fine. I'm actually running um, Turbo Shroom in this team. So this is max speed, Timid, Amoongus. Because it was something I wanted to play around with tonight as well. So I think it'd be quite fun if we can get it going in some matches later on. How much does terrain cut dragon moves? Is it 50%? I think. It definitely used to be 50%. Right, what well, we got? Cinderace, uh, Dragalgy. There we go. We're getting it right. Uh, Indeedy, Gyarados, Mama Swine, and Klefki. We've got the keys. Um, we're going to see T Wave spam. Could this be one for Megazone? Megazone may do some work here, to be honest. Um, got to worry about the redirection. But we could potentially got Urshifu Magnus on here. I don't think there's any like trick room either. Um, the only thing is, if we see Klefki come out, it's going to probably uh, paralyze our Urshifu. Um We'll go with this. And then I think we'll probably need Togekiss and. We want a Moongus. One Incineroar, I think Incineroar. We'll bring in C to this one. There we go. No timeouts so far either. So there we go. And then other news. I am getting the. I've got the commission started for the Dialga emote. So wherever Johnny Hacks is, we can give him credit for that. But um, what I'm going to do, I was reading through the the like the Twitch rewards for viewing rewards. So you get like those points. Cameron, you were asking about this. So you can unlock like hidden emotes and things like that. So we'll stick them in there with a few others that will get done, and um, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. It should be. It should be good. Should be good. Okay, that's the intimidate. Um, Magnus on in a pretty decent place right now because um, we can do this and then just go. Have they got? They haven't even got any lightning rod users though, have they? Have they got. They've got a ground type. Yeah, they got Mama Swine. Mama Swine would be a switch in there. Um, are they going to do that? I mean, the, the thing that we could do is potentially just keep Urshifu in and go, um, just go Surge and Strike into the Gyarados and Max and go Max Lightning there. We might lose Urshifu. Nah, okay. This is fine. Yeah, we're kind of covering this. So, minus one, I don't know if we get the Mama Swine. We might see a reflect come up, we might see a T wave come out. Uh, we are wasting a turn of our max, which isn't great. Uh, we could have been maybe a bit smarter and went for. Uh, max steel, whatever that is. You know, you know what I mean. What's this Klefki gonna do? Throw up a light screen. Okay, that's fine. Like, Surgeon Strikes, I would say, gets Mamo here. Let's see. Because Mamo's not the strongest, like, defensively. Yeah, 100% getting you. Poor, oh, poor fluffy ma Mammoth. Yeah, it's done. Okay. And now, we redirect the Max Lightning into the Klefki, which is great. So we're not wasting a Max move. Klefki going to be able to take this over that reflect up. But turn works out fine. How many points for a porridge video? Ah, oh, Cameron, we can't we can't throw that in there. We've said, we've said, we've said when we hit 10k on YouTube. <laughs> I'm sticking by this. Like this is the final mm. stick by. We'll get it. We'll do it. It'll be it'll be done then. Um I might even do it live. Oh no, Cinderace. Um, okay, Cinderace coming in. Um, I mean, we got a couple of options here. We could stay in Surgeon Strikes into Cinderace um, and potentially get it, to be honest, unless we see a T wave. That would be really bad. But we could double in to Cinderace here. I think we just do it. Because even if Reflect goes up, the crits. Go, don't like negate the reflect, right? So we should, we should, should get it. 
we're not going to KO it. Obviously, it's it's max. But we do have Sturdy on Magnuson, so we don't need to worry too much. And I think because of the Gyarados in the back, they've got to concentrate all of their effort down on this, this Magnuson here. Oh, Max God. Wasting a turn. Okay, okay. That's fine. There's a reflex. This is our last turn. Okay. Let's bring in NC right now. And... Mm. Yeah, go Max Lightning. It's kind of tempting to go for Max Steel Spike just for the defense boost, but I don't really know how useful that's going to be. Um, we'll probably see the Cinderace go for... Oh, it's going to go for Pyro Ball, isn't it? But we're gonna be taken down to our, our sash here. Okay, so Gyarados coming in. If we'd only targeted that slot. If we'd only targeted that slot. You stream your match versus Craig. Nah, I'm not gonna make not tonight. Not not for week one. I might stream some of the other ones that we have. Um but not this week, so. So there's a max. Knuckle. I mean we take that pretty well. Um does reset the Intimidate drop that we've just got onto the Cinderace. Breaks us sturdy as well, so. But we do get the Max Lightning. We'll get some damage into it, which is nice. Behind the light screen as well, not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. Um, I think we may pull a double switch here. <sighs> which way do we go? I think we got Urshifu for Incineroar, and then we got a Togekiss for our Magnuson. Because I think another Max Knuckle will come out from the Cinderace. That'll be the last one. And then we can drop an Intimidate again with Incineroar to kind of just reset that attack boost on both these Pokemon. And their screens, if it isn't Light Clay, uh, Clefki should be running out soon, which will make things a lot easier for us. Okay. Max Knuckle again, into the kiss, come on. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. And Gyarados, Waterfall, I'd imagine Waterfall into um, into NC, which we'll be able to take pretty nicely here. Uh, okay, the good thing is the Cinderace hasn't went for any speed boosts, which is perfect. Yeah, there's a Waterfall. So we could potentially just go Surge and Strikes and um, cycle in Incineroar for Togekiss. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. The other option is just follow me and Surge and Strikes. But I feel like Surge and Strikes should still get the, in, the, the Cinderace. It's not like the bulk is a Pokemon. Even with the reflect up. Um, so we should, should be able to get it. Let's see. It might protect. Yeah, uh, let's switch in. Okay. Is the Gyarados going to bounce? I guess the nice thing here um, <clears throat> is we've got Fake Out coming in this turn. Stop that Klefki doing any more supportive stuff. And it might be worth just getting rid of it while we've got the opportunity to, but we kind of got to keep in mind that we we'll probably need Urshifu for the Cinderace at the end of this game. Yeah, so we should get the Klefki here. This is perfect. Yeah, so Cinderace coming back in will go down, um, unless they have bounced and they're kind of covering that play. And then that forces us out. Okay, well, the Dragon Dance. That's fine, because now we can just fake out the Gyarados um, and Surge and Strike in. Has the Cinderace. It has got Max Guard, so it's probably got Protect. <clears throat> but 
But the only move that Gyarados has really got that's going to be able to knock us out is going to be... In, uh, they do have power whips, so we do need to be very careful around that. Um, okay. Surgeon Strike, and let's just play it safe here. Because we can cycle in our Intimidate. We don't need to make any rash decisions right now. But I do imagine the Cinderace just protect the Gyarados will just be flinched. My opponent just, just considering all their options. Okay, so no protect coming out, which is very surprising. And this just makes the whole match so much easier here, I think. He protects Cinderace. I mean, even if you protect Cinderace here, you still have to contend the next turn, really, don't you? Um, CPAPS, thank you so much for joining us tonight and for the follow. Uh, so yeah, we've got the Gyarados to contend with now. It should be pretty straightforward from here. We'll Surgeon Strikes just to get some damage onto it. Uh, I'm just going to switch into Orcus because really what we want to do is cycle in Incineroar again, get another Intimidate on and then kind of Create a board position with Togekiss Magnazon on the field, and then the Gyarados can't really do anything because it, it can't get rid of the Togekiss in one one hit. Unless they keep Dragon Dancing here, but that does give us the opportunity to just cycle Intimidates over and over, so it's not the end of the world. There's a waterfall in the Togs. We do take it. Okay. Um. Now I think, let's get Incineroar onto the field and let's just protect Togekiss. Now they could call this and go for Waterfall into Incineroar. Um, although I, I still don't think it takes us down. Woke up 3.30 a.m. to catch a stream. Wow, man, that is so, like, thank you so much, dude. I hope you enjoy the stream with us. Have a great time. That's so early, man. That is, that is brutal. <laughs> Fair play though, my friend. And Will, the Surgeon Strikes animation is sick. Yeah, it's so cool, isn't it? It's like, yeah, such a nice animation. Um, we can just fake out. I mean, do we just attack here? Hmm. Probably better to bring Magnazon in, but I mean, with the next turn, what we can do is switch out to Magnazon. Okay, this is fine. Um, yeah, we can still make this play the next turn where we can follow me, get Magnazon in for Incineroar, uh, get rid of Kiss and then get Incineroar back onto the field with them. Yeah, and then there we go. Okay, so we switch. Making way more of this than we need to, to be honest. It's just a Gyarados. <laughs> Playing around it. Just won that 4-0. We're not going to get it though. But yeah, Urshifu, I really like Urshifu. I probably haven't played it as much um, since the new format started, but there's been so many like new toys to play with and test out in teams. It's it's kind of just been one of those things I'm like, I'll get around to it at some point. Um, and I really like the Scarf because it puts so much pressure on like so early, especially with the Surgeon Strikes. It's like the ability of it is crazy. Just to go through Protect and crit every time. Oh... There's that Dragon Dance. Well, I mean, now it's kind of done, isn't it? Because we just follow me and, and T-Bolt, and that's it, so. And Togek is going to take one for the team, and that man, Dennis. This is a good game. There we go. Yeah, okay. Very good game. Okay, it's not a bad start. Magnuson did all right there. Did all right. Got our next opponent, and they are playing a Whimsicott Durant. Uh, Chandelier, oh, Melotic, Togekiss, and a Rillaboom team. So they've got Tailwind, they've got Trick Room options here, Redirection with the Togekiss, and Terrain with that Rillaboom. This is a pretty nasty looking team, to be honest. Um, but I do, I do like Cinderace here. I do like Cinderace a lot. I think Cinderace can do a lot of work, especially against the Durant. I mean, they kind of have to go Durant and Togekiss, really. Um, I 
Yeah, I'm gonna go Cinderace. And I'm gonna go Incineroar. It covers quite a lot as well there. The only problem is the only thing it doesn't cover is the Melotic, which is slightly worrying. Um it kind of makes me want to bring the Togekiss of our own, which, yeah, we'd probably have to sack it or either switch into our own Incineroar and then uh, round things off with probably, I think, Magnezon, to be honest. And Magnezon's not bad here. I mean, it hits Chandler and Durant, but other than that, doesn't mind the other ones. I mean, it's not going to have a great time against Rillaboom, but let's see. Let's see. Let's go for it. And Beb, I'm really loving the team comp there, Lee. Thanks so much, man. I'm stealing after the stream. 100%, dude. There will be a rental I'll put up straight after the stream. Well, at the end of the stream. So definitely try it out. Let me know what you think of it, man. Um, I've been like toying around with ideas of items all afternoon with the team because I think it's so interchangeable, but. I feel like what we've got at the minute, it feels like it's right. I think you could probably go for a very slow, bulky Amoongus over the um, the Turbo Shroom that I've got uh, playing at the minute because I think, uh, for one, it's like it gives you a bit more Trick Room cover uh, and this one's a bit of a gimmick. It was just something I wanted to try tonight, so that's why I went for it. Okay. Well, hmm, the Melotic definitely makes things a little bit awkward for us. But we could always bring in Magnazon and go down that route. Because they're going to... I think they're going to 100% go... Trick Room, right? And we could protect Magnazon by just following me. I wish, my, I wish I didn't have Drift on. Because that's not really helping us right now. Ah... Uh, my control <laughs> literally was trying to tap up and my controls just screw me out of this okay so we're going to protect with togekiss that's fine i guess johnny how are you doing my friend i hope you're well having a good day there's a tailwind muddy water i'd imagine maybe a coil maybe a coil yeah okay that's fine because we can go max now and we can follow me as long as my controller works so let's max controller working. I mean, the other option is go after the go after the whimsicott here. Um, with, now we need to go. We need to max, and we need max lightning because yeah, we need the um, the terrain the the protection against hypnosis. And I think we have to go follow me just in case they do go for that hypnosis into Magnazon. And then at least we've got the protection for the rest of the game and we can start going for the steel spikes after that. Yes, I am playing Turbo Shroom tonight. So, um, it's not it's not got the scarf, it's got Sash. It's just max speed. But I think that's enough in this format. We've not got like too many, too many speedy things where I can still take advantage of more stuff. Um, okay, here's that follow me. There's a taunt. That's fine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why would you recover? You've tailwinded. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. That's how we like to deal with Melotic. I hate Melotic as well. I hate playing it. I don't hate it as a Pokemon. I really like it as a Pokemon. I think it's a great, great Pokemon. Um, it's just I hate playing against it. It's one of my all-time most detested Pokemon to play against. I really just dislike it. It's such a pain to deal with. Okay, well, there's the Shandy coming in. It makes things a little bit more awkward. Um, because of the Max Flare. Mm, and no redirection either. Um, what Pokemon have we got in the back? We do have Incineroar, so we could potentially go Max Guard. See what they throw out at us. Bring in Incineroar. I know we're wasting turns of our Max here, but it's fine. We need to kind of try and preserve Magnezon. Um, and the one thing that I do worry about here is the Moonblast 
to break potential sturdy and then the max flare whereas if we've got incineroar in at least the next turn even if they do max we can kind of go for the uh, like a fake out play and then go max lightning into the chandelier Ah, oh, they actually attack okay they're going after the total kiss in the heat wave yeah okay Because one option we've actually got now is going for the Steel Spike into um, the Whimsicott and the Fake Out into that slot. Um, but Wimmy's maybe got Protect as well. Which wouldn't be great. Mm. But has it. I mean, their kind of time is Coming to an end soon. So I'd rather get rid of the Tailwind if we can. I'm going to double into that slot. Because I do have Urshifu in the back. They can deal with Chandelier pretty handily. So yeah, we're going to be able to get rid of this. Uh, we'll see for sure a Heat Wave come out. But... Oh no! It's the eject button. <laughs> no! Nappy, how are you doing, my friend? Thanks for hopping in, joining the stream tonight. I hope you're well, mate, and had a good weekend and having a nice day today. The Durant! Okay. Incy avoids. Ah, oh, Magnuson, why couldn't you dodge out of the way? You're too big. Flying disc. It's not good. Uh, well, I, re I always dislike Bishop more than Melotic. Melotic is good Pokemon. Bishop is just a mind game. Yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah. I never really mind Bishop. I mean, Bishop is. Yeah. Is a nasty Pokemon to play against for sure, 100%. Okay, well, that's our max moves finished. Mm. They haven't maxed the Pokemon yet, and it's likely going to be the Durant. Um, I feel like I need to. Hmm. I don't really want to lose Magnezon. I think what we'll do is go into Togekiss and I'm going to try and... I'm going to try and part and shot out onto the Chandelier. Try. I don't know if we will. I think the Durant... Okay. There's a Wimmy coming in. Hopefully that Durant protects. That's kind of what I was maybe expecting. The ideal if it does. I can't see it going for uh, an Iron Head into the Magnezon. Unless they're making like the most bold call in the world. More likely go stomping into mm, Max Quake into Incineroar. I think that's what we'll probably see. But like it uh the thing is we've got we've got it doesn't might even matter about the tailwind anymore because we've got Cinderace to come in and does have sucker punch. So we have to be a little bit careful about the whimsicott. Max Rockfall. To Incineroar. Yeah. That's fine. Problem is, they know we've got. I think we have to just follow me this next turn and sucker punch the Durant because it's pretty obvious that we're going to sucker punch the Durant. Hopefully it's enough to actually take it down. It should be. It should be. Durant is pretty bulky, but it should be. I think they're going to have to go for um, a Moonblast into us. So I think the Follow Me covers just a Sucker Punch here. Let's just hope this is enough. Life or Boosted, it should be. Come on, Sucker Punch. Come on, Cinderace. My shiny bunny, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, Cinderace never lets us down. <laughs> and Will, <laughs> why don't people mark Shininja? <laughs> Too much sand, dude. Okay, I think we've got this now because Shandy coming in, like it's kind of... I mean, we could just follow me bounce into... Uh, is it even... even worry about that, I think. 
what have we got in the back again? We've got Magnus on. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll go follow me. And then we'll go for a bounce. Uh, Heat wave's gonna hurt Cinderace, that's the issue. Are they gonna are they gonna go for that though? Are they gonna go heat wave? I don't know if they will. I mean they could. I mean we could just suck a punch. I just feel like the bounce is maybe better to get rid of the, the whimsicott the next turn and then the tailwind ends. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's do that. Because I think we'll probably see Moonblast Heatwave here. Oh, in prison. What are you trying to imprison? Okay. Now I think we just got air slash into. I mean, we could just protect. Or just follow me again. But there's not really much point. They're going to both go before. Yeah, I'm just going to go for an air slash into Shandy. At least it's Sash is broken now. So if Cinderace gets through this turn, we've got the Sucker Punch and we can just we can just deal with it. I mean, you imprison there to avoid the Sucker Punch, of course. That that makes way more sense. Hopefully we can... Uh, I don't know if we'll take this, actually. We might go down. No, we, we survive. There's the bounce. So we get it. There's a Wimmy gone. And then the Air Slash should do just about enough into the Chandelier. And then we can clean up with Sucker Punch or another Bounce. I mean, it hasn't got Protect. So at least we, it, we're, we're literally pinning it right now. Like, we just go another Air Slash and just Sucker Punch. I think if it had protect, it would have went for it earlier rather than the imprison. Yeah. Okay. Good game to my opponent. And we pick up another victory. Uh, check. There we go, friends. There we go, my friends. There is the code. Let me swivel out the way and you can uh, grab the code and have a go with it. I uh, I hope if you do play it, I hope you really enjoy it. Um, love any feedback if anyone has a play around with it. I think Magnazone's a really interesting Pokemon, though, to play around with this this gen uh, and this this format. Um, it does also get some nice abilities as well. It's got Magnet Pulse, so depending on like the Corviknight usage, it could be something you use in that in that kind of um, matchup, especially because Corv's kind of used at the minute to really counter G-Max Venusaur pretty hard. So if you've got something like Magnus on there that pairs well with Venusaur, I think like with that ability can pair nicely. So mm -hmm. there's lots of like ideas there, but um, an analytic, of course, as well, like was just mentioned. Super nice ability. But, friends, I do have to head off. So thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Really appreciate you all coming out. As always, we'll be back on Wednesday with a brand new team. And then Friday, what I'm going to do on Fridays is play rental teams from you guys. I've already got a few lined up. So if you've got teams that you'd like to see featured on the stream, uh, pass me them over. Send me them. DM me. Twitter. Oh, here youtube anywhere anywhere discord um and yeah i will i'll make sure to feature some of those teams or as many as i can um but yeah have a great rest of the evening my peeps and uh, i'll hopefully see you all on wednesday 8 p.m again um with another new team to feature